Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new APL prediction video. Yay, APL predictions. 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 Diction, 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 predictions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but guys, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I actually, guys, I got a list of the games on this piece of paper right here. Drop a like down below. Subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I do post a video. So the first game is going to be Burnley versus Arsenal. Burnley versus Arsenal. That's some game there. Is it two crap teams? Two crap teams. Maybe not. Maybe one crap team and maybe one decent team and one crap team. Yeah. Burnley's a crap team. Burnley's kind of a crap team. I mean, they are. Wait, let me see. This is fifteenth against. This is fifteenth against tenth. Now Arsenal. Now Burnley are only six points. Are only six points away from the relegation zone. Mm. Now Arsenal, on the other hand, are they're fourteen points away. That's quite a ways. That's a big gap. And that's why I don't think Burnley win this game and i'm going f i'm gonna go for a tight win a tight game arsenal won burnley nil arsenal won burnley will i'm gonna go with arsenal two burnley one. Nil. Oh, i thought you said okay 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 next game oh this is a crap game sheffield united versus southampton Ooh. It's a crap game. Actually, not. I don't know. I think Southampton is. This is this is the opportunity for Southampton to break their losing streak. Okay. 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 What are your thoughts? Well, I think. Oh, I think he sh Sheffield won. Southampton won. Hmm. I don't think there's going to be a real winner. I think Southampton will get rid of that losing streak out of the door. But, I mean, they did just tie with Chelsea two games ago. So, I mean, is that their losing streak on? I don't know. But I'll go for Sheffield 1, Southampton 1. I don't think there's going to be a real winner in this game just because... Both teams right now are doing poor. Actually, you know what? Let me switch that up. Sheffield 1, Southampton 0. Okay. I'm going to go with the fact that they're going to break this win losing streak. Southampton, they're going to have to win. I'm going to say Southampton 2, Sheffield 0. After Sheffield win, just please don't write off Sheffield. They won against... Aston Villa 1-0 with the red card I, as well. I'm not writing them off. I'm just saying that Southampton is desperate to get a win. And what better place to get a win than with the last team in the table. Well, next game. Villa versus Wolves. Mm. This is another interesting game. The villains. The villains versus, versus the wolves. The, wolves. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the villains versus the wolves. Yeah. Oh. That's going to be something. All right, well, I'm going to go first. Here's my prediction. I what? think that this game depends on whether Jack Grealish is in the squad or well, not. Well, here is one interesting thing. What happens if Jack Grealish and Raul Jimenez is in the game? Mm. Well, I think if Jack Grealish and Raul Jimenez is in the game, I think... Aston Villa will do better with Jack Grealish, way better than if Jimenez is in the game for Wolves. So I still think if Jack Grealish is played for Aston Villa, Aston Villa 2, Wolves 1 is the final score. If Jack Grealish does not play, it's going to be Wolves 2, Aston Villa 0. Well, if Jimenez plays... It's 
going to be Wolves 2, Villa nil. Mm. If Grealish plays, it's going to be Wolves 1, Villa 2. And if if Jimenez and Grealish plays, it's going to be Wolves 2, Villa 2. All right. You're basically saying a tie if they both have their full teams, yeah. the full strength. It's two all draw. Yes. Hello. Next game. Brighton versus Leicester. Mm. Mm, you want to go first? No. Actually, right. yes, I'll go. All right. Uh, all I have to say, Brighton is not like, cutting their two, their two losses in a row. Not against Leicester. Because the last time these two teams met, it was 1-0 to Leicester in the FA Cup. The last time these two teams met in the EPL, it was 3-0 Leicester. But this is at, at the Amex, which is Brighton Stadium. Mm, home game for Brighton. And both of those wins that, that Leicester got were at home for mm. Leicester. Interesting, good point. That's why I'm going to go for or another Leicester win, but tight. Brighton, nil, Leicester, two. Not really that tight, but whatever. I think Vardy and Inacho will score. Wait, but you said Brighton, two? No, I said Brighton, nil, Leicester, two. Oh, Inacho wow. and Jamie Vardy. All score. right, so it's a two nil. You predicted a win for Leicester. I am going to say... That is correct. I'm going to go with the same 2-0 for Leicester. A win you over Brighton. Copy me. I know, but so that means that Brighton is going to be sliding down into the relegation zone, perhaps. And the next game is West Bromwich Albion. Your lovely Les West Bromwich Albion versus your lovely Newcastle. Two of my crap teams. My favorite crap teams. <laughs> Teams in All because I like the uh, the managers. I like both managers. I have a um, you know, a feeling about both managers. So my prediction is going to be, oof, I'm gonna let you go first in this. No prediction yet for me. I think West Brom's gonna stay up, and Newcastle's gonna stay up as well. I think it's going to be West Brom 1, Newcastle 1. Mm. Wait, are you saying both teams are going to stay up without re re being relegated? Yes. So who's going to get relegated? I think it's going to be Sheffield, Fulham, and Burnley. Mm, interesting. Sh Actually, no, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change... Is that to Brighton? Mm, I'm ready. with you. I think Brighton is on a slippery slope. But anyway, we digress. The final score is going to be <laughs> Newcastle 1, West Bromwich Album 0. No. Oh my God, okay. Okay. It's a 1-0 win for Newcastle. And here's a, another battle between in relegation in Europa League football. It's Liverpool versus Mama. I think, I'm, I'm gonna go first. Yeah. I and think despite Liber Liverpool's terrible form. And they also play at home. Well, they've lost their last five games at home, Liverpool, so it doesn't mean anything whatsoever. But I think despite their slump, they are definitely gonna win against Yeah, Florida. And that's why I'm going for 1-0 Liverpool. I'm going to go 2-0 Liverpool. I'm going to go with Mo Salah to score. I agree. I think Mo Salah is going to get out of some of, somewhat of a slump. He's going to add a couple goals. He is the leading goal scorer still in the league. 17. I think second place has a bow. 15. Bruno Fernandes. Ooh, Bruno Fernandes is a hot in the heels of Mo Salah. More salad. More salad, please. Thank you. Okay. No, no dressing. Next game. And here's a big derby. Manchester City versus Manchester United. Mm. That's a beat down. 
It's obvious. Manchester City is gonna smash Manchester United. <laughs> Three zero. I, I thought you literally said that you thought West Ham was gonna win against Manchester City. Wait, is it West Ham Manchester City you said? No. Oh. But you said West Ham was gonna win against Manchester City, and now we're back in Manchester City to win against Manchester United. No, we're back to the derby, Man City versus Man United. Again, my pick is Manchester City is going to. Wait a sec. Okay. Man City play at home. The last three times these two teams met at Manchester City State. The last five times Manchester City was at the State Stadium um, with Man U. Who three times Man City lost. Well, this is not going to happen right this second. Manchester City is going to destroy. Let me repeat that. Destroy. Should I repeat again? Destroy yes. Manchester United. Destroy. 3 0. No. 3 0. No. Manchester City wins. No. Okay. What's your prediction? I say that that win on the will stop here. Okay. Manchester City 1, Manchester United 2. Oh. I was waiting for this game. And the next game is Tottenham versus Palace. Now this is is a seventh, eighth versus thirteenth. Crystal Palace versus who? Tottenham. Tottenham. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go. Eighth versus thirteenth. Okay, do you wanna go first? Yes. Go for it. I think Tottenham will destroy Crystal Palace. Tottenham four, Crystal Palace one. Ooh, what do you have? Tottenham four, Crystal Palace one. What do you have against Crystal Palace? My goodness. I don't think they're gonna play well in this game. Mm. All right. Well, I'm with you. I'm agree. I think Tottenham will definitely win. I don't know if they'll destroy Crystal Palace, but they will win. White is going to be tough to beat in the Crystal Palace goal, but I think Deli Ali's back on the field for Tottenham. That's it's tough to defend. Game over. Hat trick for Deli Ali. Deli Ali's son and, and Harry Kane. And Gareth Bale to score. And Gareth, Harry, uh, Gareth Bale. And it's going to be tough. So I'm going to say it's going to be 2 0 win to Tottenham. 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 And the next game is a big is a big game. It's Everton and Liverpool versus Chelsea in London. Everton and Liverpool. And Chelsea in London. Chelsea in London? Yes. I don't understand. Who's London? It's Chelsea's from London and Everton from Liverpool. Oh, so it's a Chelsea Everton game. Yes. Ah. Stamford Bridge. Ah, from Bridge. Well, Chelsea is tough to beat right about now. Last time these two teams met, it was Everton won Chelsea nil. I don't think that's gonna happen. But that again. was when Frank won a part. Yeah, I think it's a different Chelsea now. So I think you want to go first. Yes. What's your prediction? Chelsea ah uh, two. Everton won. I think Richarlison's gonna keep his school his his scoring streak up up in scoring against Chelsea. I like that score line. I have to go with you on that one. I think it's gonna be two one. Stop copying me. Chelsea. <laughs> and the next game is West Ham versus Leeds United. Oh West Ham, you know, that's my team. I'm a I'm I'm slowly become a, a Hammers fan. So, the Hammers we, versus the championship. The Hammers. The versus, Hammers versus the championship winners. Yes, let's see. Oh. The men from up north, Leeds. Mm. All right, I'm going to have to go. West Ham mm. defense holds off Leeds' pressing attack with a beautiful counter. Antonio is back on the field for West Ham. This is a 2-1 West Ham victory. Not so fast. 
Lesson one leads three. Who's going to score? Lee's going to score on Fabianski three times? Yes. All right. Interesting. Bamford twice and Harrison once. Okay. All right. You heard it from the tall maestro. <laughs> And the final game is a total beatdown. It's Manchester City in first versus struggling Southampton in 14th. <laughs> yeah, Manchester City versus Southampton is struggling not a good matchup. You can't even say struggling Southampton because they're struggling too much. Yeah, struggle is... Sliding is really more like it. They're sliding and they're trying to grip this one. This game is going to be a total beatdown. Like, Man City's going to destroy, 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 <laughs> destroy them. Should I repeat myself? You can repeat yourself. Destroy! <laughs> Did you hear me? Yep, I think I heard you. I think okay. everybody heard you. Nice. Nice. Oh, what? Go ahead. Manchester City 6, Southampton nil. No. 6? Yeah, well, man, if Man U can beat Southampton 9 nil, no, you don't think Man City can beat them 6 nil? No? I think they're going to pull it together. I think they're going to... Didn't they have a, a red card in that game? Two red cards. Two red cards. So, mm, not the best moment for Southampton. Nine men against... Yeah, a team like Man U, no chance. I think they were going to get another red card in this game. Well, I don't know, but I don't think the score nine was representative of how 